On this week's Fast TV, we're in Perthshire with Hay Farms and Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks to hear about the SSEN Farm Safety Campaign. Look out, look up and look after yourself during harvest season. My name's uh, Finn Hay. Um, I am a partner in uh, Hay Farms. Um, we are farming um, arable crops uh, around about Perthshire, so 8,000 acres in total. This farm we're at today is Snago Farms. So in terms of kit, this is, the, this is our harvesting team here. So we have a Class 8 900, a Class 780, both with 45 foot Convio headers. And we also have a John Deere 8370R on our 30 ton chaser bin. Farm safety is absolutely our number one priority. Um, our staff are our most crucial part of our business. Making sure that they are safe and happy at work is uh, the number one thing for us. So um, it's a part of everything that we do on our day to day farming. I think farms can be dangerous places to work because you are moving around the countryside all the time so it's not a confined environment, it's not a factory or, a, or, or a, the same place of work every day. Stuff changes, you're open to the elements in terms of different climatic changes, different topography, everything like that um, and everything changes through the season as well. So being outdoors, I think, is the number one thing that probably, and the, and the changing conditions that we deal with is probably the number one thing. Yeah, so all of our team are given um, handbooks, essentially, um, folders that have maps in them. So it contains all the field maps, but it also contains any potential obstacles, uh, power lines, gas lines, if we know where they are, all that sort of stuff. So anyone coming to work for us gets one of these booklets when they arrive and it has every field in it and it gives them where the gateways are so that people aren't trying to turn into fields in the wrong places, where any potential obstacles are, everything like that. And it just makes life a lot simpler if people have got something to refer to. Um, if there's anything specific in a field, then we will try and uh, mention it when the guys head into that field to do any work. So in terms of at home in the steading, we, um, we have a health and safety policy, which includes all of our stuff. So the guys have got, anyone who comes to work for us has got to have read um, and signed and agreed to that. And we have sort of health and safety briefings um, on a regular basis throughout the year to make sure all the sort of usual stuff is being adhere adhered to. And then um, myself and other management within the company will be doing checkups as well. Number one thing for us would be to make sure that all of our staff have all the information provided to them. If guys don't know, then they can't do anything about it. So as long as everyone's informed about what potential safety issues are out there, then they have a chance of doing something about them. So that would be the number one thing for us. Second thing would be, be aware of your surroundings as some guys have been working with us for 30 years. They think um, everything's the same every year. It's not, it's a case of um, keeping an eye out um, for anything, any changes that happen. And I think, I think the third thing is commu communication is the big thing, is making sure that everyone within the business knows what the issues are and, and solutions to the problems that may arise. I think when we're working with such big machinery, the uh, likes of the combines behind me there are just shy of five meters tall. They've got 13.5 um, meter headers on them. They are big machines. It's really important when guys go into a field, they assess what's in that field and make sure that they're looking um, at what could potentially be an issue within the field related to the size of the machinery they're using. Look out, look up, and look after yourself is the important things. My name is uh, Mark McDonald. I work within Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks and my role is Head of Region and I'm responsible for part of uh, Scotland in keeping the lights on and carrying out any new connections and also upgrading the electricity lines. So it's good to get out and spend some time within the local farming community. It's uh, a very busy time and a lot of the time they're, they're working against the, the weather. Uh, so today behind me, as you see, we've got one of uh, Finn's large combines. Some time ago, going back 20 years ago, a lot of the combines would have a 10 foot header, but as you can see from the one behind me, it's near enough uh, three times the size. 
It's really important that when farmers do come into a field, they consider the layout of the field, they have a look to see if there's any of our overhead wires or poles within the field, and they work out how they're going to move their apparatus around that, whether it's a combine, a plough, a cultivator or a roller. What we ask is when farmers are setting contractors to work, or even themselves, they, they carry out a, a risk assessment. And what that can be is just looking what's around them, uh, looking up to see if there is any overhead apparatus and just having a walk around the machinery itself to understand the size of it and how they're going to manoeuvre around the, the apparatus within the field. Over the past couple of weeks, we've had few instances of uh, farmers hitting our apparatus and that could be the combine, the, the header actually hitting the pole, the grain tank touching the lines. Also, what we've had is a tractor drive through a pole, whether or not they were uh, working with the, the GPS. Uh, and we've also had uh, cultivators hitting the, the edge of the poles. If you do come into difficulties within our overhead lines or wires, what we ask is you stay in the cab, you call 105, tell them where you are, and they will send an engineer out to give you advice and to help you. If you do have to get out of the cab, we do ask you to jump clear of the cab. However, it's best to stay in the cab until someone comes to help you. Greg Warrender is one of the engineers who attends farms to help farmers assess potential risks and resolve any faults. Right, my name's Greg Warrender and I'm part of the Network Integrity Team for SSEN. Part of my role is to attend faults when there's power outages etc on our network and also part of that is to improve our network to save the power going off in the first place. So on our network, especially at this time of year, uh, we do get called out to a lot of incidents um, which vary uh, depending on size of machine, the overhead power lines in the fields etc. So we don't know what we are going out to when we get that call. So over recent years machinery only gets bigger. Um, going back 10, 20, 30 years ago machines were a lot smaller. Now these can cause a lot of problems if farmers don't get the line heights measured etc and the machines measured when they're going into the field to cut these crops. If a farmer does come into contact with a pole or part of the overhead network within a field, if it's safe to do so, stay in the cab, call 105 and try and give the best uh, advice to our call centre in regards to where they are on our network. Uh, the call centre will then dispatch an engineer to come to site and make the network safe. If a farmer does come into contact with an electricity pole or wires and it isn't safe to stay in the cab, if the farmer can exit the vehicle by jumping clear and make his way to safety. At SSEN, our farm safety campaign is we look up, we look out and we look after ourselves. If farmers do need advice in regards to line heights or anything to do with the apparatus on their land, they can call us on 105 and we will attend site to give them further information. I'm Heather Stewart, I'm a consultant with SAC based at the Tariff Office. Recently I've been doing a bit of work on farm safety and um, with machinery getting bigger it's becoming even more important for farmers to focus on farm safety. So a standard electric pole would measure 5.2 metres in height and if we take a modern mid-range combine with the grain tank open you're looking at a height of about 4.9 metres so there's not much clearance there and if we then consider telehandlers, tipping trailers, high loads, it's a safety issue that we should all bear in mind all year round. If, if anyone's in doubt they can call 105 for advice and to get the line height checked for making up a farm plan. So the first thing they can do is plan. Um, and that involves making sure everyone on the farm knows where the poles and the lines are and you can contact SSEN to get a map which gives you all the useful information you need. Um, the next step is to signpost any danger areas and make sure all the vehicles are carrying a cab sticker to remind them to look out and look up every day. If anyone's wanting to do training on farm safety, Lantra have got an online course called Health and Safety on Farms. It covers numerous farm topics, uh, one of which is electricity. 
But for more information on anything we've talked about today, we have a FAS publication on how to be safe around overhead power lines. And we've got our top picks of apps and websites to help you keep safe on farm.